We have a new roguelike game. We finished Kill the Crows, and this game kind of looked like it to an extent. And I enjoyed Kill the Crows a lot, so I picked up this game, Dust in Neon. It's been on my wish list for a while. It was half off, so I thought, why the hell not buy it and give it a shot? We will do slot one. We will play on normal mode because it can't be that hard. And we'll just do play and see where we do. Where was that clip posted? It's in Twitch clips posted by Xbun. It's it's an MP4 from Google Drive. You were quite dead. <laughs> I knew I could remake you into something far better. You just needed some pin the message. I should. Is there a mod in here to do that? Look at you now. It's like Frankenstein's monster. We need to cleanse this world of the robot oppression. The robot oppression. Simply try again. <laughs> so there's the roguelite aspect. If you die, you just go again. Let's do it. Use the collected cores to upgrade your home base. Okay. It worked. It actually worked. Well, I mean, yes. Yes, of course it did. Of course, with my genius, you never had any doubt. They called me mad. Did you know that? Those brutes, those luddits. But who's mad now? Still, I didn't expect rabid rat flesh to be the key. The regular rat flesh, well, let's just say that little experiment didn't go so well. But just look at you. You're everything I could have dreamed you'd be. Worth of all the corpses, uh, the wasted years in hiding. You show them all, though, won't you? Wait, why are you standing around? There's no time. There's too much work. Those blueprints I need aren't going to find themselves, now are they? I've let you a present at the gun materializer. It should feel just right in those murderous hands. Arm yourself and go forth. All right, we got a little roll that's on a cooldown. We look around like this. Press E to pick up. Uh, a simple revolver. Oh, it can't be opened yet. Okay, I'm using a mouse and keyboard. I have a feeling this might be a controller game, but we'll see. We'll use mouse and keyboard to start. Go and choose a mission. Oh, we gotta choose a mission? Well met, I'm Rob Robot, an AI system created by Dr. Finkel. I was created to serve and help you. I can't say I want to, but not wanted to goes against my core programming. Together, our mission is to cleanse this world of all robots. At least that's what I'm programmed to say. Anyway, let's get started. Activate the mission teleprompter, teleporter, and select the mission to teleport there. Then we can get going. Outer Wilds, small camp. Is there four missions total? All right, we'll accept it. Check the boss screen for more info on each boss. Clear the area. Stand behind the box to take cover. Aim your gun to stand up from cover. Fire at those bottles. Reload when you're out of bullets. Oh, I have to reload. I have to tap R with every single reload function. Pick up more bullets from the ammo crate. Oh, we don't have unlimited ammo. We do have a sprint with shift. One final thing. Try rolling to continue. Oh, shit. I got hit. Okay. My senses indicate more enemies ahead. Love the smell of dead droids. So we're picking up a little bit of everything here. Go and get the blueprint. So this game is another top-down shooter, it seems. You found the Delta blueprint. Return to base and use it to activate the Clonomatic. We're 
reward, 81 bucks. You found the Delta Blooper inserted in the Clonomatic to get it online. Spend skill points in your skill trees to improve your Gunslinger. Revolvers shoot bullets, but to shoot bullets, you need to have them, and most likely you'll need a lot of them. Eight maximum revolver bullets. How much does it cost? Oh. One percent accuracy. That's not really that big of a difference, I feel like. Oh, there's also health as well. All right. So now we have to go choose another mission. All right, I like the start of this game. I like the start of it. It's starting off kind of hot. Simple, straight to the point. Bring me back something nice. I'm on a top-down shooter kick right now. Enemy stored, so I have to go here still. All right, we'll go here again. Unlock new map areas by beating the robot bosses. Okay. So I have to go here multiple times. What is this? What about bottom up? I don't think there's bottom up games. A simple shotgun. It will do. Press tab to switch weapons. I don't know if I'll remember that. Okay, so they also have guns. Which kind of makes sense if they'd have guns. It'd be weird if they didn't. They gotta defend themselves too. I am the asshole that kills. Remember Burr's Horde Survivor error? Do you miss that? What's up, Discotech? This is the top-down shooter error, you know? Mission complete. Reach extra to return to base. All right. Error? No, error. A little finicky with the cover, but that's fine. Hope you're well, Disco. You found the Omega Blueprint, return to base and use it to activate the base control. Oh, that was easy. I remember when Burr plays a lot of roguelites. Dude, I'm playing a lot of roguelites now. What are you talking about? Short work day today? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I am doing good. A little hungry, but overall good. Spend course to upgrade your home base, giving you a head start before every mission. Also read up on bosses in the boss screen. All right. A singular strike. Spunky, thanks for gifting one to Disco Fabulous Tech. Fabulous underscore Spunky gifted a tier one sub to Disco Tech 90. They have given 69 gift subs in the channel. Chance for guns to be rare. Oh, I see. These are all the different things you can buy. Thank you, Spunky. One mission. Buy back guns before you die. There's a lot of stuff you can buy here. What are the bosses? So the, all the bosses are locked. I have no cores. So we just have to go choose another mission. So I start with the shotgun now. 
Find the Zeta blueprint. Dude, how many blueprints do I got to find? It's kind of annoying that I have to go find all these blueprints before I can do an actual run. Name 20 of them. Name 20 roguelites that I've played. Loop Hero, Darkest Dungeon, Enter the Gungeon, Exit the Gungeon, Hades, Ravita, uh, Dome Keeper, Returnal, uh, Darkest Dungeon, Darkest Dungeon 2. That's 10 right there. Uh, Kill the Crows, we literally just played that. Brotato, Halls of Torment, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor, Vampire Survivors, that's 15 right there. <sighs> Dead Cells. Um, inscription, if you want to count that one, I won't count that one. So Dead Cells is 16. What's up, Dr. Prod? Good morning. When you put you on the spot, you just forget so many. Wall World, that's 17. Ants took my eyeballs. We played that. That's 18. Kobo Core, we played that for a little bit. That's 19. FTL, that's 20. Boom, I named 20 roguelites. There's a blueprint somewhere at this location, but my sensors don't indicate exactly where. Find and collect the blueprint. Good luck. Can I, like, play an actual run yet and go up against bosses? The reload function is weird. Now name 20 that I've played this year. I don't know if I've played 20 roguelites this year. Was AK's Lotto this year or was that last year? That might've been last year. I feel like AK's Lotto was last year. The reload function's a little annoying. This game seems like it's actually gonna be pretty freaking hard. I played Balatro this year. You found the Zeta blueprint, return to the base and use it to activate the gun shop. If I gotta do any more of these, man, like this is the third one I've done. Can I just like do an actual run yet? Can I play the game yet? Yeah, the, the graphics definitely give you a little bit of Borderlands vibes. It's a top-down roguelite shooter. Accuracy 100%. Two skill points earned for reaching rank 3. Block light revolver unlocked can now be found in loot and bought in the weapon store. Okay. So I got a better revolver. I have two points. Get my health up. Twenty-five percent faster cooldown? Hell yeah, give me that. These require a lot of ranks, though. Go place the Zeta blueprint. I gotta remember, I can also sprint. So you're here to buy guns. Don't touch the iron with your filthy hands. You'll leave prints on it. I have the best blazing guns around. Not sure you handle them, but we'll see. Dr. Vinko already paid for the first bunch of guns, but after that, you're on your own. Well, are you going to get something or not? The shiny quad semi. The, a legendary revolver. Definitely going to take that. Gear up before Gear up before going out. Okay, well. I mean, I got a legendary revolver. 
Investigate the unknown signal. All right, so now we actually have a hard mission. We actually have a hard mission. Let's see how we do. Good morning, Ace of Jades. How are you doing? This can't be right. Seems like the mission teleporter glitched out. This isn't good. Good luck. Kill the enemies. Find the mission site. Kill all nearby enemies. Never mind. I don't think we're a robot. We're just killing robots. Okay, dude. Bro, are you fucking kidding me? What is this? Bro, this is the first non-tutorial mission. Are you kidding me? What is this? How am I supposed to kill all these things? Do they do damage to themselves at least? The difficulty scaled so much since the tutorial. This is supposed to be a legendary revolver. It hasn't done anything. Kill the enemies. Dude, I can't kill these fucking enemies. They have so much health. Oh, this game is not starting off good to me, in my opinion. You're getting wrecked. They send me into a bunch of an enemy. These enemies, I'm shooting them. This revolver is supposed to be legendary. Keep that in mind. This is supposed to be a legendary revolver. I've just loaded 16 clips into it, and it didn't die. Okay. Let's give up and close this game. This game might fucking suck. If it's doing that to me, I'm glad I didn't take the sponsorship for it. I wouldn't have anything nice to say. I think there's a roguelike coming out about cars racing, A1. So I heard the teleporter had some sort of issue. Maybe that was supposed to happen. You must have moved while it teleported you or something. I never write bugs in my software ever. Well, I'm writing the patch to stabilize the issue. It won't occur again. I put a few missions onto the teleporter. Get going so we can hunt down the robot leader prototype 14. He's hard to find, but if you make enough noise out there, he won't be able to help himself. He'll give away his position. Now, Scram, I've got code to write. Or, or, oh, Frank is back now, so stop by and grab a mind blower. You can never abide by that. Yeah, you usually gotta say nice things about the games when you're sponsored by it to play them. Sometimes they'll be like, yeah, say whatever, but usually they're like, oh, say this, say that, be nice. Hi, I'm Frank. I build mind blowers. They are great. Sometimes I can't even remember that I built them, but I guess I did. First one is free. This is your first one, right? I'm gonna take a nap now. Uh, install a mind blower to boost yourself for one mission. 9% better accuracy. Bullets cause 10 damage per second for 5 seconds. Why didn't you give me this beforehand? Alright, maybe that was supposed to happen. So the game was like humbling you. It's like, yeah, wait a minute, man. This game is hard. Get ready. 559 dollars. I got no dollars. See, there's an easy and a medium mission. Rob the train, sabotage the enemy base. We'll rob the train, I guess. Doesn't seem too bad. It's called easy, so maybe I maybe you're supposed to get your butt kicked. Hey, there we go. Now I'm actually killing stuff. 
And we're getting money. Find the safe. This is a weird looking train, man. All the sponsorships I've done, I haven't had to worry about pretending to like the game because I've genuinely liked the game for the sponsorships that I've done. I've done sponsorships for Marvel Snap, the Extreme Elements, Tiny Rogues, Atari, and HelloFresh. Shit, I'm on the wrong side. How was the HelloFresh game? Well, HelloFresh wasn't a game, clearly. That was uh, me using a product and advertising it. Mission complete. The dance of torture. That was it? Okay. 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 I got 693 bucks. Cores needed 29. I'll just go do another mission. Okay. Did I ever do a Raid Shadow Legends? No. I've been emailed them by... I've, I've been contacted by Raid Shadow Legends a few times to do a sponsorship, but I've never done it. Even though they pay very lucrative, I just never had an interest in the game. And I can't pretend I'd have an interest in the game if I did a sponsorship for it. Uh, kill marked targets. Alright, we'll do that. Alright, this game's better now that I can actually survive. HelloFresh did not have a game. Me not being able to sell my soul for a sponsorship because I don't genuinely like the product is not a good thing either. It would be so much easier to be a creator if I could just sell my soul and just do something for money. And then tell you guys to do it so I get money, but I couldn't. I'm not going to tell you to play Raid Shadow Legends because that's not a good game. I don't think it's fun. I know I'm never going to get a Raid Shadow Legends sponsorship now. Forty bucks. Life is easy when you're fake. I, I wouldn't know. I've never been fake. Game has an office where you live, which I found really funny. Is it a big office? Raid is big. I know it is. They pay very, very well. They give you some lucrative deals if you're sponsored by them. But you got to get a lot of motherfuckers playing that game. The Drake and Kendrick shit, dude. <laughs> Don't even get me started on that. I have no idea what their beef is about, but I also could not care less. Like, I, I don't care. I, 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 I don't care. I don't listen to, like... Either of their music. I name I know like two songs by Drake and maybe one song by Kendrick Lamar. Don't know what their beef is about, but it seems like the internet really cares.
The real beef is Super Earth versus Sony. Oh, that beef's already over. Super Earth won. Didn't you hear? Kendrick's just doing his victory lap at this point. If I was Drake, you'd run away. I I don't know what's going on, but sure. I, if, I, if I'm going to trust anyone that's telling me this, I'll freaking trust Emmy. She seems, she seems like she knows what she's talking about with this type of drama. Did I go inside this hotel yet? Sony back down on requiring. They did. Before I was going to bed, Kat showed me a tweet by Sony. And I was like, oh my god, they can be smart. Oh my god, they made the right choice. Let me scrap this gun. J. Cole sitting at home like, nope, nope, glad I said sorry. Who the hell's J. Cole? Is, what, he's involved too? What, they're having a three-way or something? Three-way beef? Is that even legal? People already refunded the game. Yeah, they'll just buy it back again. I didn't refund the game. I uninstalled it, but I didn't refund it. I also uninstalled it because I was like, I could get 50 gigabytes back on my PC. I had to see how it was going to go. What's up, Dre Humble? Way too much meat. Damn. Dre Humble. Kendrick fan? Enjoy the pizza, Spunky. Three-way beef sticks up your ass. Uh, yeah, sure. Sure. If that's what you want. Gate opens when all nearby enemies are killed. Okay. Let's see. I think this is one of the enemies I need to kill. Alright, that was one of the enemies I needed to kill. like both artists i can respect that i don't know anything about either of them hope you're having a good day and time playing this game it's been pretty good so far it's the first time i've ever played it the reload mechanic seems uh okay seems like a pretty hard game though I hated the game for a second because it threw me into a super hard mission and I wasn't able to do it. Can I just heal heal for free? Ooh, I can heal. Ooh, I can get all my ammo back. Thank you very much. You're on the fence I'm picking up. That's why I picked it up today because it was on sale on Steam like 50% off. And I was like, you know, it's been on my wish list for a while. I might as well give it a shot. I just finished a game called Kill the Crows, which I think is only on Steam. But it was another top-down shooter that I really enjoyed. Top-down shooters seem to be uh, my, my phase right now. My favorite. 
I'm debating if this is a better freaking controller game or not, but... This is the exit, I think, but I need to kill one more target, which I think is past here. I have 97 of those, which means I can get upgrades. Oh, that is definitely the enemy. Hotline Miami get me in the top downs. Eh, maybe it reignited some of the love that I had for it. My favorite roguelite is Enter the Gungeon, which is my uh, go-to top-down shooter. Drake released a diss track being like, haha, Kendrick is short. And then Kendrick was like, Mopkin turn was like, I hate the way you walk, talk, breathe. And yeah, they've always disliked each other, but it's reached the tipping point. Yeah. I am severely uneducated on them. I didn't even know they hated each other. Kendrick's best song is King Kunta. I really like that song. That's a really nice song. Uh, Swimming Pools is nice. I liked that in high school. Because that came out like 12 years ago or something. King Kunta is goaded. King Kunta is very, very good. I love that one. Go to the clone matic All right, well, we beat that mission a little harder. I think, can I get an upgrade? I have two points. Wait a minute, let me see. Does everything always cost one point? Three points to unlock the next row. More ammo? Cost one. What about, uh... More HP? Sure. Whole album is trappy AF. I don't know any other songs off the album because I've only ever listened to one song on it, but... It was good. Chance for guns to be rare. Buy for 80. Oh, all these ones cost more. The gun shop offers all kinds of exclusive guns. Shop holds better weapons. Oh, I need the blueprint for that one. Let's get guns being rare, sure. Unlock free rifle. The health meter is right down here. You can't see my health because my big head is blocking it. Sorry. Burr's big head strikes again. Sorry. This thing is a beauty. Have you ever? I mean. I don't have that much money. Oh, now I'm tiny. I'll try the, the. the. Oh, wait. I don't even have this yet. Let me buy it. Does that mean I have a third gun? Oh, I can just use the mouse wheel. Thank God. I don't know about y'all. I know I, this is like a minority, minority, but I, I like using the mouse wheel to switch guns. Oh, we're going back to medium missions now. Clear the area. That's the boss. Rank six required for the boss. Sabotage the enemy base. We will sabotage the enemy base. Sure. Turn off the stations. All right, let's turn off some stations then. I feel like a lot of people like doing one, two, and three to switch weapons. I like doing mouse wheel. Hey, Dan, welcome back. Can I just keep getting ammo? Oh, ammo's full. 
Well, I can come back here. When the time comes. Most of the time, you unbind it completely. Damn! You guys don't like the scroll wheel? I love using scroll wheel for shooting. And for- no, not for shooting, for switching weapons, I should say. Shooting is left mouse button every time, all the time. I'm not crazy. Helldivers community defeated Sony. I did hear that. The game had negative 200,000 reviews. Or 200,000 negative reviews, I should say. In the span of what? Like 48 hours? I've seen that. I've seen those types of memes going around how, like, Sony is the next thing you need to stop. And how, the, well, I guess, we, we killed Snoy for Super Earth. They might add a cape that's just a negative review graph on Steam. Of course they would. If they did that, I would respect that. Unlock for nine. Sure. Legendary rifle, yes, mamma mia, let's pick that up. Scrap my other rifle. I have less damage, but everything else is better with critical accuracy and handling. So we'll scrap this one for $10. How's this pistol? Epic pistol? Less damage? Ah, it just seems the capacity's higher. Everything else is only down by a few, though. So it might be better. The glorious quad burner. The score's higher. I don't, I don't know what that means, but... I'll pick it up. And then I will scrap this one for money as well. Rare. Scrap it. All right, turn off the stations. We're doing it, we're doing it. Scrap. Came together and defeated the big corp. It is a big W for the gaming community. I'm glad to see it got resolved uh, pretty fast. And Sony caved pretty quickly as well. With all the negative press. Keep giving me enemies. I'll keep killing these enemies, man. You just keep giving them to me. The reloading is still very weird to me. I have to tap R for every single button to reload. 
Oh, now my sniper's here. I'll keep using the pistol. Let me go back and heal. The plans all along bring Cloud into the game months after release and succeed in then making more profit. It would be a risky move by the devs. But it's one that will pay off. Oh, this one's so much better. I don't know where the ex the inch where I came from, so I don't really uh, know where to get my health. Was it over here? Dude, where did I come from? Can't wait until more gaming communities unite like the Helldivers 2 community. Only then will game and see substantial change. And don't know how uh, how much we're going to see that. Hopefully we don't, hopefully gaming communities don't need to come together like the Helldivers, do, Helldivers community had to. But. Giant Corpos will always try to squeeze out a few extra pennies <laughs> Ugh. fix their shit nah, overwatch does isn't overwatch aren't overwatch players complaining about mercy probably for existence still a boss is out to challenge you once we get to rank six we are rank five now so i got to rank five we got two more skill points Got 277 bucks. I got some pretty good weapons all the way around. I got legendaries everywhere. I can even upgrade this now. Unlocks a free rifle to start every run. 10% return of loot cash on death. So if I die, I'll get 10% of my money back. Oh, I don't have enough cores for that one. Shop holds better weapons. Sure. I'll spend it on that. Yeah, Colts. And it's just like, no, you just fucked up. Like, you you just straight up messed up. Like, it's okay. It happens to the best of us. All right, I bought my max health already. Walk speed's faster. 10 HP from crates. 5% damage taken from cover. My health is already maxed out. Howdy gamer sleep I yuck by the way Hades 2 air just dropped. Hades 2 early access just dropped? You gotta be fucking kidding me. What? You're lying to me. Patrick, thanks for the 40 months. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the emotes as always. Oh my god, $39. Buy it right now? I'm not buying it right now, man. I just started this game. I just started this. I guess I'll play Hades after I'm done with this game. Why are we playing this crap? We're going to have to wait, man. We got to play this first. It's 38 Canadian dollars. How much will the full release cost? It'll probably go up to like 45 Canadian dollars on full release. Early access is typically a little bit cheaper, but... Damn, Supergiant making an expensive game. Dustin Neon stocks are in shambles. And, dude, imagine, like, any roguelite developers 
now they're just like, well, shit, Hades just dropped their early access. We have no reason to make ours now. We should just wait. Their demo like, yeah, they're freaking, they did say that the, uh, they did say that the, after the technical test, they would drop early access pretty fast. You'll be busy when you get home though. You'll play it soon. Don't worry. Yeah, people are willing to pay for it. I'm still going to pay for it. I I'll play Early Access Hades 2 whenever I'm done with this, I guess. Whenever I'm done with this game. So you might see it sometime this week. Hades 1 is 66% off. You should definitely try Hades 1. Hades 1 is a phenomenal game. It was nice to know you. Guess it's time to put my life on hold. Bye, la la la. Enjoy Hades 2. But also, it's early access right now, so the runs, I feel, are going to be super limited, you know? Like, how far could you go into a run during the tech test? I didn't really watch any of it. It's 39 Canadian dollars for Hades 2 early access. So probably 30 US dollars. Monk, what is that? Is it Hades 2? Yeah, I appreciate it, but if it's Hades 2, yeah. Uh. Yeah, early access will be fine. It'll be good still. You get to see what's going on. You get some input, help the devs out. First area. Well... Early access is out, but that I'm not playing it yet. I'm telling myself when I get to a game that's not absolutely horrible to actually play it and finish it. And I'm going to do that with Dustin Neon. Granted, I guess I chose the bad day to pick up a new game. Because I was like, last night I was like, hmm, should I pick up a new roguelite? Should I play like freaking something else? Should you get early access? I mean, if you want to. I don't know. I can't make decisions for you. If you really crave that Hades feeling and you're fine with it being limited content and you're playing in an early access game and it'll get updates gradually as time goes on and you can accept that and you are willing to pay that price to help the devs maybe find some bugs, then yeah, get the early access and play it. If you want the full game and you only will want the full game, wait, because you're not going to be happy with what you get. I, I like early access for games. I, gen I Genuinely, I like early access. I do. Shadow of the Erd Tree. For Hades 2. I mean... It's gonna release regardless. It's just a matter of do you want to join in on the FOMO of missing it out. I know FOMO is very strong for a lot of people, but... Listen, I'm not going to I'm not going to cave to the FOMO. I'm going to beat Dustin Neon if I like it enough to beat it. I'm going to play it until my content and then we'll see uh, what we're doing with Hades 2. Yeah, like you can just wait. You'll be missing out. Eh, you're not going to be missing out. Is it really missing out if it's something you don't really care about that much? I love Hades also. I think Hades is one of the best roguelites out there. One of the greatest indie games ever made. Hades. I'll stand for that argument. Hades is one of the greatest indie games ever made. But I, I, I can wait a few days for early access now that I started this. Give it a shot when the time comes. Alright, so I'm, I understand how this game works now. I get it. I get it. It might get a little repetitive, depending on how long it takes to rank up, but I do get it. You just want to play it, and I hope you have the best time ever while playing it. I can understand you wanting to play it. I think it looks really good based off the few things that I've seen. I think it looks great. Kill marked targets. Clear the area. Destroy barrels. We haven't destroyed any barrels yet. I'll do that. So, for people that aren't picking up how this game works... 
every area has a boss but to get to that boss you need to be a certain rank my face cam is blocking the rank i'm currently rank five and you rank up by doing the missions and you get missions by just clearing out other missions so this mission is just destroy barrels and then you kill stuff as you go and you rank up as the game goes on so uh we'll see you'll think about it yeah you ain't missing out as a content creator, I should be jumping on Hades 2 right now, playing it for three hours, then making the quickest review possible. Is Hades 2 worth the purchase? Even though it's fully known it's early access. You should be, to be honest. Yeah, but I'm not. I should be, but I'm not. I will make a Hades 2 video when the time comes. I'll make one. Doing that would make me hate life. Doing I, doing those quick videos, it so messes up my whole schedule. As a roguelite tuber. I know. My roguelite tuberness. But like all of you said, like Momo said, it's also early access. There's not going to be that much to cover. I assume right now in early access, there's going to be the one area, maybe two areas. Maybe two areas. I wouldn't expect a full game. Yet. Accuracy's down by two. Cat, are you up? Make a Hades game tier list, yeah. But it's about jumping on the train. I know it's about jumping on the train, but I don't really want to jump on that train. I like my train. Hades 1 Early Access are our first two areas. I uh, didn't play Hades 1 in Early Access. But I also don't think Hades really blew up until it left Early Access. But at that time, I was an Overwatch gamer, so I was ignorant to any other game's existence. So I couldn't tell you if uh, Hades 1 Early Access was this hyped as Hades 2. I feel like Hades blew up during, uh, when it released, but maybe it was very popular. Because of the weekend sale this week. Well, early access for two just dropped, so you got plenty of time to get to, to get through one. Plenty of time to get through one. Me to all the NPCs. <laughs> Freaking Hades bisexuality the game. Let's get through all the dialogue. Don't say that. You're going to make somebody mad. Some people love those Hades dialogues. It's to only beat Dad once. But how much have you played it if you've only beat Dad once? I'll say going behind cover seems a little janky in this game. That's like the main gimmick is like hide behind cover. Take less damage. But it's just also like I'm just going to shoot everything. Made it to the snake boss, boss two twice. Nice, not bad at all. Hades is a hard game. Some people pick it up faster than others, and that's just the way gaming works. Can't be great at every game you play. If you're like me, you're great at no games you play, and you're only okay at some of them. But you play the games nobody else has ever played, so it looks like you're really good at them because no one else has ever played them. How many of you have heard of Dust and Neon before this stream? Be honest with me. Have you ever heard of this game? Maybe a few of you have. I know Game Nerd has. Game Nerd had it on their wish list. Dead Cells at the same time. I felt like Dead Cells was better for rep repetition. Dead Cells is incredible. Nope, never. Hey, Koma. Never heard of it. Yeah. Both games are amazing. I... I could agree with you there. I've played the Hades more than Dead Cells, and I would say I like Hades more. But if you gave me Dead Cells again and told me to play it for like 30 more hours, I could probably say, yeah, I like Dead Cells more than Hades. Dust and Neon, never heard of them. Exactly. You've never played Hades? Well, it's on sale right now if you wanted to try it. Because Early Access, Early Access just dropped for Hades too. 
I need to find three more barrels. Where the hell are these barrels at? Can't go over there. Where the hell are these barrels? I'll say it. It's not showing me where the objective is like it does sometimes. <laughs> okay, well, I'll find them. I'll find them. Sixty hours on Hades. It's a hard game to beat. Hades is revolutionary in the roguelike genre. It really set the bar higher, and a lot of new roguelites take inspiration from its mechanics. I agree. It did set the bar. When you're, t if you're, if we want to be fucking nerds for a second and talk the greatest roguelites of all time, that really have standardized the roguelike genre to be what it is. Hades is up there. Binding of Isaac is up there. Dead Cells is up there. Enter the Gungeon is up there. And then if we have a fifth one, I'd say Darkest Dungeon. Those are like. If we have like a Mount Rushmore in terms of roguelite popularity that have been very well positively received. I feel like those five could be big. There's obviously a lot of other big ones that people love, you know, FTL, another one. Risk of Rain, that could easily replace Darkest Dungeon up there if you want to. Get rid of Darkest Dungeon, put Risk of Rain, Risk of Rain 2 up there, fucking huge game. You like how hot the characters are in Hades? Yeah, <laughs> you're not the only one that likes that. You aren't the only one, my friend. I use the pistol the most. Alright, we can leave now. It did, Chloe. It did. Slay the Spire up there. I think you replaced Darkest Dungeon of Slay the Spire in terms of uh, turn-based combat. Like, if you're getting, like, the five pinnacle genres of roguelites that have changed the game, the way the genre is, like, looked at, and how games are made, Hades, Dead Cells, Gungeon, Isaac, Spire. Five right there. Exit to the base. Maybe we'll play Hades 2 tonight. How about that? Because I only got 20 minutes left in this stream. I'm not starting Hades 2 with 20 minutes left in this stream. They, I, I, can, I can play it tonight. I won't make a YouTube video on it for a while. Because I don't really want to make a YouTube video on a game that has two areas. But I will buy it. I promise you I'll play Hades 2. Isaac and FTL grandfathered the popularity of roguelites. I agree. And whenever I say that in a YouTube video, I got some fucking nerds coming and going like, Well, actually, Binding of Isaac came out in 2012. The original Rogue came out in, two in 1983. And there's all these incredible roguelike games that really standardized this. It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. Nobody's ever heard of Contoot the King of God or something. Nobody's ever heard of these games. Like, nobody's played those games. Like, ten people have played those. We're talking people, like, made the genre what it is. Like, people know what this is. I, I, like, it's like, they're just, oh, God. They're, they're so annoying. Well, actually, this game is so, it's like, oh, dude, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Like, nobody cares about this game that nobody's ever heard of, man. Uh, give me the light revenge and give me the steady aim. Kamulana, fucking Kamulana. Also, we can go challenge the boss now, so we'll go do that. I actually like the weapons I have. I read reviews of this game saying it was really hard, but I haven't died yet, so maybe I'm just a gamer. I care, you care about those random roguelites. They're, they could be great games, but let's be honest, they didn't revolutionize the genre. I am diagnosing that commenter of lack of grass touching. If you care so much about someone's opinion on the internet that you write a big ass in depth comment about how their opinion is wrong, ding dong, your opinion is wrong, you need to go outside more and realize it doesn't matter. 
Prototype 41 challenges you to death. I haven't died yet. We'll see if they kill me. I am getting quite hungry, so it might be time to end this stream soon. During this break, I'll need to get my Hades 2 thumbnails ready for fucking the early access. Get the freaking video up at 6 p.m. my time. Be dumped started at 4 p.m. Enjoy work, Dan. All right, find and kill the boss. Your opinion is wrong. I know my opinion is wrong. Leaving the stream 14 minutes early. I'm not leaving the stream 14 minutes early. I'm killing this boss. I'm killing this boss. Maybe. Saying someone's opinion is wrong isn't wrong by itself, but being mean, disrespectful, or not providing like a critical or constructive comments is what makes you a mean piece of shit. When comments are actually state something that makes sense with my opinion and disagreeing with my opinion and being like, oh, objectively, this or this or that. It's like, oh, by the advisor, yeah, you say it's not that long of a game, but actually there's all this information. I can understand where you're coming from, where it feels like the game isn't that long. But once you fully unlock a lot more, it's like, okay, yeah, I can I can respect that a little bit. You're going in depth. You're telling me what I said and why it could be incorrect. Okay. Yeah, sure. Kill yourself. Isaac is not that... You miss so much. It's like, okay, well, I'm not listening to you. No green screen? Nah, we're trying something out where we don't have the green screen up and seeing what people think. Nobody has really said anything to notice or care. The only negative thing is, uh, my green screen doesn't go down. So if I want to bring it back, I have to go carry it. Ooh, 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 carry it all the way back in here. Exactly, game nerd. So, uh, but yeah, no green screen. Do you like it, DQ? I guarantee you all of you are like, dude, I don't give a shit either way. Because <laughs> why should you care? You can be a VTuber. I do not want to be a VTuber. I like to think I'm a pretty good looking guy. I'm not saying all VTubers are ugly. <laughs> let me just straight, let me just say that. But I feel like I have... I don't mind being on camera. I've gotten used to it. VTubers are not ugly. I'm sure they're beautiful. Kat's a PNG YouTuber. She's the most beautiful person I've ever seen. I I'm just saying I'm confident on camera, but I can understand people not being confident on camera and not wanting to be on camera. I can get that. I can respect that. You, get you could get a lot of anxiety from being on camera. I get that. I... I'm just built different and don't have that skill issue. <laughs> I don't mind being on camera. Plus, if you're packing guns like mine, you might as well show them off. Bro, you just gave me a freaking game demo. You did you don't you know Hades 2 just came out? Dude, your game ain't getting played. Built different. <laughs> no, but uh, if no, I, I like having a face cam. Okay, I like having a face cam. And if you're, if your workaround to not having a to having a face cam is PNG tubing and VTubing because you don't want to be on camera, fuck yeah, do it. There's a reason it's so goddamn popular. If you want giant titties on a squirrel while eating the walnut, you can do that with PNG tubing. You can't do that with this. You could be anything you want. Prototype. You can't be prototype 41, though. You would get in trouble if you did that. <clears throat> Anyways, let's kill a boss. Hopefully. Anyways, this is not my last stream ever. I am not canceled yet. I know, by the way I talk, you would think I'm canceled, but not, no, no, not yet.
Is there just like unlimited ammo in this game? There's definitely unlimited ammo. Oh fuck, I all tabbed out by accident. Wait a minute, I'm dying, I'm dying. Somebody call the cops. I'm honestly gonna be using this damn sniper, are you kidding me? Why should I use anything else? I got the range. Baby, I got no goddamn health left. Oh. You found the gamma blueprint, return to base and use it to reactivate the bio the biomatic. The dance of the dance of dying. I will take it and scrap my gun. I got no health left. Those bosses can be annoying because you're trying you're trying to reload and dodge at the same time. Holy shit. Upgrade six skills. Reload 100 bullets. Reload 25 bullets. Loot 10 weapons. Reload 500 bullets. Reload 250 bullets. Wait, I just got six achievements. I got seven achievements. Beat boss one. What the fuck? I'm ranked seven now, though. You defeated Prototype 41. I never doubted you for a second, or I mean, I did, but well, anyway, he might resurface again, so stay on the alert. I see that you found the Gamma Blueprint. I insert it into the Biobatic to start it up. It will regenerate the weapons you had when you died, so you can buy them back. Another genius invention of mine. The Biomatic actually seems quite good. Right here, is this the Biomatic? Nice. Biomatic. Buy back the weapons. Uh, we can upgrade. I got 127. 10% return of cash. Dude, there's so many upgrades in this game. Holy moly. Holy moly, man. Faster walk speed. Hmm. Ooh, damage on the revolver? Sure. Alright. Alright, well, like and subscribe, Let's Play channel. I kicked that boss's ass. Well, how about them apples, man? How about them apples?